Good afternoon everybody. It's October the 31st, the day of the petition hearing in London. And here I am, sat at an abandoned Eagle Owl Eyrie in the forest of Boland. There are no Eagle Owls here now, but there may well have been because we have found, so late in the season, a fresh Eagle Owl scrape. The last time I was here was in June 2014. I was with another member of the Northwest Raptor Group, Kevin Moore, and we found this same site containing four abandoned Eagle Owl eggs. They were stone cold, one of the eggs had been pierced by a corvid and there was a track leading up to the nest which indicated that people had been coming to the nest on a regular basis. Obviously, being responsible bird watchers, you never go near an eagle owl nest during the breeding season. Now, we've, this afternoon we've carefully reconnoitred the uh, stream gully here and there's no signs that an eagle owl has been in here at all for many months. Now there's a rumour going round that an eagle owl was successful in the forest of Boland this year. It could have been this one because obviously someone's been here and cleaned it all out. They've taken all the pellets, they've taken out all the feathers and all the detritus to uh, conceal the fact that there was even the potential of an eagle owl nest here. What is interesting, in 2014, on the same afternoon, Kevin and I found another eagle owl nest a mile to the north from here, and that had four eagle owl eggs in it, again abandoned. Two of the eggs had been eaten by a corvid and there was fresh yolk all over the nest scrape. At that time, we were complaining bitterly that people were going to these nests far too often. They should never go near an eagle owl nest when it's got eggs or small chicks. I think at last that message has got through because this year we've heard this rumour that um, an eagle owl nest in Boland was successful, fledging chicks, and that the chicks were wrong, and that eventually the record of the ringing will be on the one show, probably in November. But until then we've got to wait and see if the actual film does come on the one show. But it's very sad for me because the eagle owl status in Boland has been very sad. We've found nests on other estates and the eggs have been found abandoned and there's no sign of the adult birds at all. And other nest sites that have been regularly occupied by a pair of eagle owls for 10 years, they're all abandoned now. It's obvious that someone is getting rid of them and someone has been disturbing the nest sites. So I just thought it would be a nice interlude to show you this uh, footage on the day of the of the day of uh, Mark Avery's uh, presentation in London just to show you that the Northwest Raptor group never stop we're out nearly every week winter and summer and our membership is growing so if, and that's what an eagle owl scrape looks like it's uh, about 10 times bigger than a peregrine scrape but it's abandoned but one day they might be back Thanks again to listening for Terry Pickford. I hope one day I can show you some eagle owls in this wonderful area of the forest of Boland. They're a fantastic bird and there is no need for anyone to disturb them or kill them. Thank you very much. Let's hope Mark Avery does better than we've done today in London. Thank you very much.